so you're upset her. It's not like she put any curse on you or anything. She just seems kind of freaked out every time it happens. More like the school does. It's like, it goes, well, your desk is now an ancient burial ground or something. So after one time, we were all disturbing your class. Bra-Ra started getting strange nightmares. Don't tell him that. That's embarrassing. Then it happened to me, too, and we both wake up all sticky, covered in my own semen. Crazy. In our separate beds, because we were in different houses at the time. Yeah, watch the wings, big guy. Neither of us were getting any sleep. I warned you, man. Main character. This bullshit will keep on happening to you. So what was the dream? Oh, it was... I said don't tell them. It's really embarrassing. You reckon it wasn't that bad? It was just this world made of paper. Like loose sheets everywhere. We're running through it, trying not to trip on everything, and there's this howling glue beast chasing us, making everything sticky. Oh man, I know how that feels. What the heck? I've been having a dream of a bit like those last few nights, too. Hold on, Craw. I know it's a dream and stuff, but you can't just fight the glue beast. I mean, you're a dra- I am not a dragon. Ow. I am a lizard folk, and I have told you that before. Raw. Okay, sorry. I cannot fight the glue beast because it's a metaphor for everything I'm afraid of, so shut up. You're all so sensitive. Insensitive. Hey, calm down, big guy. How's it a metaphor for stuff you're afraid of? Well, because she, it just is, okay? Well, it howls, and it. Well, it howls and it moans! Makes you all tired and sticky. Well, that explains why Krara is afraid of it, I guess. Wink. It's not. All of you shut up, or I will barbecue your ears. We're just joking, Kra. Come on, let's get the pace mixed up. Yeah, let's finish this thing. Oh, see, loss. I don't want to touch this stuff. It looks really weird. It wobbles kind of like. Don't worry. It's just partially set on top, and it's got a bit of a skin. We just need to mix it thoroughly before we try and use it. But how? I'm not sticking my hands into that stuff. No problem. Well, now I'm at an impasse. We're gonna just use a blender. Why not? What? You want me to ladle all this gunk into a blender? That'll take forever. Are you trying to make me look dumb? No, no. There's a wand blender by the sink. You know, the whiz stick thingy. Oh, uh, okay, sorry. Okay, it's plugged in. Let's turn it on and shove it in. He has told that a lot, I bet. <laughs> Shut up. It's just getting stuck in the glue. It's only a matter of time before our diapers get really stuck in the glue. Try cranking it up higher. Dragon Ball Z ass shit's going down. The glue's the glue's going everywhere. Whoa! It's in my eyes. Make it stop. I'll pull the plug at the wall. Ow. You've knocked me off balance. Okay, the plug's out. Has it stopped spinning yet? Or oh, falling inexor inexorably. Oof, what? Oh. The sound that follows is the unmistakable, majestic cadence of a huge winged lizard face planting graciously into a vat of glue. So, is a dragon not just a lizard with wings? Or is that. Or is that more of a. More of a wyvern or a or a drake. How, how does this work exactly? It is followed by an ominous silence. <laughs> 
which doesn't last for long. Oh man, oh man, what a mess. Hang on, cry right, buddy. I'll get you out of there. It's like a trap song. It's like, ooh, ooh, scrap. Ooh, ooh, yeah. You're not going to be able to get near him if he keeps thrashing like that. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Hold that. Woo! Should I zap him and stun him with my sweet fireballs? No, don't tase him. He's my bro. Uh, I see what you did. I'll get him out. Is anything the matter, dears? I've, I've heard raised voice. Oh, my classroom! What's happening? Is this another spectral visitation? Stand back, miss. I'll take care of this. Oh, I do hate cleaning up ectoplasm. It's worse than the time all those pixies be Look out, miss. Yeah. The furious glue-covered beast thrashes dreadfully, and a shower of gelatinous paste assaults the room. Wait, Nera Lady, did you just say the glue beast? Wait, Nera Lady, did you just say the glue beast? Oh god, of course, why didn't I see it? The curse is ripened, the glue beast is manifested all over my cool bro. I'll free it from its influence, cry. But how, Sea Lost, the glue beast is sure to be a fearsome opponent. Ah. Oh. It's rising from the pit, slathered in this dreadful ichor. Icker, yeah. Ah, dang. He's tipped in the whole vat on its side. That's gonna take hours to clean. Quara, can you hear me, bro? It's Silas. Say something. Rug. Well, that was predictable. Silas, dude, on my expertise as a prior main character, I'm gonna tell you duck. Why? Because there's a four option choice menu heading straight to your face. Oh, what the? It's blank. I guess I'll have to click one at random. Hilarious. Yep, nothing happened, huh? I think the program's just jumping the gun a bit. It gets overexcited. I need to go to bed. Honestly, I think things have gotten a bit more perilous before you get to actually... Uh-oh, he's a moving, folks. Take, take the murder. Carrier to the altar of paste. Well, hey, Kra, keep away from Miss Sweet. Oh, I always knew I'd end up like this. Why'd I have to be born so adorable? Rorg. It's been nothing for me but a constant spate of monstrous abductions from the cradle to the, to the glue. Silver, who's he? Grab Miss Sweet and run. Roger. What are you going to do? Rawr. Ow. Ah, uh, there we go. I'm in deep enough trouble to get a legit menu, at least. Alright. We'll do that. We'll sweep him into a carving Crap, bro. I know you're upset. You're covered in blue. Possibly possessed by some kind of vengeful spirit. Let's just chill out, man. Bro hug? Come here. And the sound that follows is the unmistakable majestic cadence of Splore. Okay. I don't... I don't know what I thought this was a good idea. Yep, totally stuck. What? A friction? Roar. Never. Whoa, calm down. I am avenging stickiness incarnate. Whoa, hey, quit wiggling. What are you... Ah, oh, my feet are touching the floor. Brrr. Ah, oh, where are we going? How did I get loose from this rampaging glunosaur? Brrr. Oh, man, this is ridiculous. I hope no one sees this. Oh, what a sight. How majestic. No, why do they always see... All the school is agog at the sight of the rampaging glue colossus as it flaps and staggers stickily through the corridors, through classrooms, through walls, 
the very pages of history itself. Ugh, I feel seasick. I'm gonna go ahead and call it. I don't think I'm gonna be in any state to ask someone to the festival after all this violent stickiness and public humiliation. Somebody stop the Sclutosaur, I wanna get off. Please. Ah, bro, listen, it's me. Calm down. Ah, oh, thank heaven. He seems to be tiring a little now. It's me, buddy. Everything's just fine. Are we cuddling? Shush. Everything's cool. Keep walking forward. I didn't. We are almost back at the art room. Were you cared? Of course I care, Krara. You're my cool bro. Just make it through this door. The art room has many glue removing implements as it has glue applying one. Yes. See you, Yeah? Thank you. You are my cool bro. Right. right back at you, man. Right. Uh, um, what's the sound that fuck me? The sound that follows is the unmistake. Yes, yes, we know. Oh, he's sleeping. The glue is in his clothes. It must be all that's holding him upright. Right now, that's sorted hell. Ew, who's he? Miss Sweet, can someone please unglue me and cry out before this stuff sets up for sleep? For... Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, Silos, I'm glad you're safe. Whoa, where were you guys? Hid in the co cupboard. You just voted Miss Sweet our favorite person to be crammed in a cupboard with. Oh, you too? Hey, <laughs> hey. You got well, your blanket in unison, perhaps, huh? I have a spell that can banish all this glue. For real? Brilliant. Yes, I learned it from my father. He was a, a learned arch janitor. Oh, the things he saw. This is over. After a lot of magical shouting from this sweet you and Krara are both freed from the sticky scourge. He assures you that Krara will wake awake again in a few minutes, and some fresh air on the playground should fix him right up. Go off to lunch with a light heart. Awesome. I'm glad it all worked out. Hey, did you hear? I'm all ears as always, dear fellow conspirators. Spiriter. Well, <coughs> the salacious story of the morning is that apparently there's been a bunch of fighting up on the roof. Oh, how stimulatingly dreadful. Do tell. Go into excruciating detail. Alas, I've heard facts to relate. But the fights consist chiefly, so I hear, of some schoolyard toughs testing their strength against the mysterious masked fighter as a solagog. Shocking! Such an organized brawling tantamount to criminal activity. And how did their strength fare? Poorly, so I hear. <laughs> They're planning to stop fighting fair on one on one. My, such unsporting cowardice. <laughs> That's find a vantage point. Yeesh, those two. I'd better try and keep out of their gun sights for the day. Now where to spend lunch? Let's go to the roof, of course. Are you fighting on the roof? That sounds ridiculous. There's no streets up there for starters, and the roofs has a bad reputation ever since the Roof Fighter video game print has ended up being such a flop. But I'll admit I'm curious enough to go look. What's with with this chick barging in on her fight without saying a word? Are they like warriors? Get lost, Boncho Mask. I'm not done mopping the floor with this guy's sorry tail. Oh, you want some of this? Oh, hey, weren't you fighting me? Shut your whining mouth, shrimp. This pussycat needs to be taught a lesson. You're not really qualified to teach these kinds of lessons. Oh, you're going down, Scarface. Whoa! There really are people fighting up here. I guess no one told the faculty. Yeah, and you'd better not be the first if you get my drift. Oh, not you again. You gotta 
Uh, what voice did I even do? Oh yeah, we got a good thing going on here. Upperclassmen over school are put wages on these matches. But this troublemaker, Pancho Mask, is messing up our fight schedule. Pancho Mask? I guess that the Mask Girl is Psy, the Psy and Silver we're talking about. Whoa, her thighs are sure muscly. I can't look away. Oof. Who's next? I am, and I warn you, don't underestimate me very well. Ooh. Even though I hey, hockey padding, what? Come on, is that all you've got? All right, who's next after him? She seems pretty into this. It's kind of scary, but she's amazingly good too. I wonder who she really is. All right, gate crasher, now you're gonna get it. It ain't polite to bulge in on old people's lucrative gambling rackets. Yeah, you can't take us all on. Wait, gambling rackets? Show up and get her. Urgh. Oh man, she's definitely in trouble now. Three on one is not fair. I have to do something. Hmm. I'll throw something. I can help without getting beaten up. What to throw? Yeah, insults. Let's just end this now. I'll solve this with ways. The thinking man's way. Wow, what, wow, wonderful. What the situation needs is a little discourse and civility. And... Hey, knuckleheads. Uh, are you really all such wimps that it takes three of you to beat one girl? Stay out of this. She started it. I think you're all just too afraid to take on a real challenge, you big pansies. The hell are you babbling about? Sheesh, the geeks are just lining up to taste my knuckles today. Good thing I baked some extra ones, no scram. If you if you were really tough, you'd be settling this in the arena with spears on the back of a greased heaving turtles. What? Not staggering around up here like a bunch of clowns. What, do you even know what you're saying? I think you've been in the sun too long. Uh, guys, it went well. Ouch. Uh. Oh, nice right hook. He's down. And she's just gonna dodge the other two. Oh, you sneaky little, you better run. Yikes, she's coming this way. Not done with you yet. Nowhere near. Get back here. Shit, she's gotten away. You loudmouth, I'm gonna kick your ass if I got. I'd have got her if you didn't distract me. Shut it. Show up, Naomi. You better make yourself scarce. Go chase your girlfriend if you want. We've got a schedule to keep here. She, she's not. Hmm. Eyes on the prize like always. Typical. You damn right. There's money writing on this. In case you forgot. Uh, wait. You mean after all this, we still have to fight? You can always forfeit, shrimp. Uh, what? No, uh, no. It seems I somehow escaped without a mob beating. I'm backing the hell out of here. Uh, uh. Uh, I've tripped on her scarf. Banjo mask scarf. Which means she's not wearing. I better find her quick. That her down the hall must be. She looks pretty winded and her clothes are messed up. Pant. Pant. Cough. Oh man, what do I say? Oh my goodness, she's turned around. What do I do? Hey, um, thanks for helping me out. I was in over my head. Gladly, anytime. Fuck. I guess you know my secret now. Please don't tell anyone, okay? Wait. You forgot your scarf. Damn, she's already out of your shop. Ring the bell for afternoon's class has been sounded. Oh, I'll pocket this and give it back to her when I can. Time for class. Eventual lunch break. Our hero bustles hurriedly into the science lab for his afternoon class. Ooh, lunch sure went by fast. Barely had time to cram a sandwich into my mouth on the way here. Oh, Vedica's in my science class. Maybe I can give her scarf back to her. Eh, down to see lost. Uh, I mean, yes, sir. Fuck you. Fuck me. Fuck everything. 
Hey, Silas. We're gonna do science. What's up? Hey, Yanni. Hey, Silver. Hey, Vatica. See you all. I guess, I guess she doesn't want to talk about it in front of anyone, of course. Be carrying off from where we left off, students. Take your books. Oh, I'm late. Sorry, sir. Our swimming practice went late and. Er, explain your predicament. I'm sorry, I left my uniform clothes down the faulty pool filter and it sucked them in. Janitor's still trying to get out without ripping them, so I had to keep wearing, uh. Let's see. Quite understandable. Perhaps you'd like to take a seat up in front of the class, and mm, yes. If I can keep an eye on you. Mm -hmm. Proper process of measurement will be using a tape measure to record the width of my dick. So we've already did that in the last session. Oh, had we? Yes. We'll be moving on to the practical today. Can, who can tell me what today's experiment will measure? Yes, Vitica, the temperature of soft coil lipids in a UV gel solution, sir. Very good, Vitica. Well studied as always. Vitica's a little completely different person in class. Just a little while ago, she was fist fighting three seniors on a rooftop, and now here she is, answering questions like a pro. How'd she do it? Here's a quick review of my safety precautions. Who can? Sir, I. Someone other than Vitica this time, I think. Ooh, pick me! Yes, how about you? Can you give us a rundown of the safety rules? Me? Well, damn, I can't remember off the top of my head. I know we're on the flyleaf. Fly of one of my textbooks, but which one? Science for Furries, 4th ed. Uh, Bloffman's Complete Treatise, Wild Succubi Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. Let's do that. Oh, what's this even doing here? Damn, everyone's looking at my dick. Uh huh? Sun suntan lotion is vital to a good tan, and these ladies know all about how to apply it evenly. Turtle jousting star Falina assists the lovely Ariana with those hard to reach places. Ah, uh, see, uh, sorry, sir. I thought this was the experiment manual. The only thing you'll be experimenting with is the blackboard in the detention hall. If you keep this up, I have so smut in my class. With a swift tug, Mr. Brack confiscates the swimsuit magazine. You're not entirely sure how you got it in the first place. However, you simply must do something so distracting. Take one of these. This is a pinup calendar of Mr. Brack. That's really bad. Uh, 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 okay. Your punishment is as swift as it is cruel, sir. I have no idea what you're talking about, Silas. Prop dust safety measures are as follows. High protection and gloves must be worn at all times. Ensure proper ventilation. Do not eat the gel. I'm looking at you, Miss Yunny. Eep. You're all quite ready now, each one of you. Choose a partner for the experiment. Everybody split up. Do I choose? Ah, oh, damn. Seriously, who's it gonna be? Redica. The perfect chance. Whoa. Okay, I found your scarf. Yeah, I dropped it. You saw. People are bound to catch me out eventually. I just knew I couldn't last. I won't rat you out. Why are you trying to hide your face anyway? Come on, talk to me. You don't get it, do you? I'm a straight-A student. One slip up and it all goes out the window. If I get caught, I could get suspended. For street fighting, my parents would disown me, but I love killing people on the roof. Um, that's the real me. And then, I'm not really boncho mask. I gotta go to bed. I have to end this. I have to end this. I have to end this. Yeah. Let's go meet with my crowd. Hey guys, see you last soon as you come see me at my lunch. You can be at the festival, right guys? Uh, so this girl says she was waiting for you. I hope you haven't decided yet because actually um, I wanted to ask you. No, it's me, you're tired. You take it to the festival. Hmm. You seem to have already have your hands full, see loss. Wait, hold up, everyone. Please give me a chance to talk. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Alright. Well, Karara is obviously the correct choice. Because it's a dragon. And dragons are the coolest thing. 
Um, Theo, no. Vedica, fuck that. Dragon! Oh, no, you didn't know you were planning to ask me to the festival. Well, that does change things. What was the change? Vedica, I'm sorry, I wanted to chat with you more, but I forgot about the festival some other time, okay? I'd really like to talk to you, Rick. Ah, oh, yeah, I get the picture. I feel like talking again. That won't drag me through the school just to brush me off. Future, don't pretend for one second you don't understand me. That you understand me. Oh, uh, didn't think she cared that much. I guess it was kind of unavoidable. Look, Theo, I don't want to hear it. It's like I'm your last choice. I'll never forgive you, you meanie. You're just like my parents. Everyone always leaves me alone in the end. Wah, damn it, Theo, wait. I'm sorry, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I'm going home. Oh, you are so close. I'm so sorry, Silas. I hope you'll try again. Maybe just, maybe later, okay? Poor Silas. I hope you have better luck next time. Game over. <laughs> but wait a minute. <laughs> like... So the person I chose is still in the running here, but because I'm so embarrassed by cat girl I just met and other friend leaving, I'm like, no, there will be no celebration today at all. Not that I wanted to play anymore, but that just seems kind of weak. I gotta sleep now. Take care.